Hey there subscribers. This brief tutorial is going to share how you can analyze IIS or Internet Information Services logs in Microsoft SQL Server. I learned this trick a very long time ago. Uh, I'm bringing this to you all today because there's a recent exploit released by Symantec of a vulnerability that is logging in IIS logs out there. Um, I'll post a link to that vulnerability in the description. Um, but you may want to analyze your IIS logs and you may not have a tool or a security incident event monitoring tool in place already doing it. Uh, so this might be your reason for wanting to check this out. But it's pretty quick. And it's a great way to do analysis on web logs uh, for Windows hosted websites if you do not have any existing tools. So timely because of the recent semantic news, uh, but also helpful uh, in the future for other purposes. I've used this a very long time ago. The first thing is to launch your IIS web server console and know where your web logs are on your web server. So in my case, I have my IIS manager open. I have just one default site running. And what I'll do is check logging. Logging will tell me where my logs are going to. Now, this being my test environment local computer, it's going to the default path. In a real world scenario, probably shouldn't do that. The exploits that are currently going around do look at the default path. So I would advise you, move your web log file somewhere other than the system drive of your servers, just as a best practice. If I go to that directory, um, you'll see on my computer, I have one log there. That's my current log for today. Chances are you have logs from several days, uh, depending upon what your settings are. Uh, so you may have older ones that you may see as well, but I just turned this on today. So that's just today's log. Now I want to import that log to SQL Server. Knowing that IIS is currently writing to it, I have to copy this log elsewhere to access it, or I can go ahead and um, just stop IIS. You want to stop your production website, of course, but in my case, again, it's safe to do that. That'll allow SQL Server to access that text file. It won't be locked. I'll go to my SQL Server Management Studio now, and you guys can do this with your organization enterprise versions, or if you don't have enterprise, you have developer editions or SQL Server Express edition, which I'm running here, which is free. Uh, so that is an opportunity for you to take uh, advantage of. If you need a SQL Server environment, you can set up Express edition. Uh, right here, I've already created a database called IIS Logs, just with default settings, no big deal. And then I have a create table structure. This create table structure mimics the structure of the IIS log. Uh, you'll see the date, time, source IP, methods, and a bunch of other information found in the IIS log, and how many characters of spacing that they take up. So this way you have a structure you can import cleanly into. I'm going to run this create table statement. If it already exists, it'll drop it. Just give me a whole new clean instance to do analysis on. So I will run this statement, execute it. I have my table structure created. We can just refresh over on the left, double check it's there, and you see it, it's created. And it's all available to me. My next command I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bulk insert my log file into this table. Bulk insert, a ways to quickly insert data into SQL Server. If you've never seen it before, it's pretty awesome and powerful. Essentially, I tell it the location and the name of my file that I want to import. You could create ways to import multiple files through a loop if you wanted to. Set up a variable and naming convention, but I'm just going to do one today, starting at the second row because the first row is where my header is if you were to open that text file up in Notepad and look at it. Each field is terminated with a space, and then each row gets terminated with a backslash n. We set this up, we run this command, and you'll see that the number of rows that are in that file get imported or inserted into your database table. Now what we do, and my log was very small, so it's only 35 records, we write queries against this table. So I'm just gonna do a select star or a top 100 from this table, and you'll see your structure is now loaded into SQL Server, and you can query for items that may look malicious, or you can do other types of log analysis with 
your SQL Server in IIS. Uh, this is pretty awesome. It's a quick, easy way. You don't need to have any special IIS or log analysis web server tools. It gives you an opportunity to see what's going on on your website. I hope you find this valuable and uh, you subscribe and follow along for future updates. Thanks, everybody.